Unit 18, question 1661. A uh, circuit, blah, 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 two capacitors. Okay, as soon as I hear the word capacitor, the first thing that comes to my mind is a capacitor stores and separates charge. It stores and separates charge. So uh, then connected uh, voltmeter and, um, oh, and it had a capacitance at 0.05 microfarads. So micro, of course, in SI units means 10 to the minus 6 and farads, well, that is the uh, SI unit. Um, it is a, a Coulomb volt, cou Coulomb per volt. Anyway, even if you didn't know that, it's okay because the equation tells you that it's a Coulomb per volt. You have no uh, choice but uh, to, to recognize it as such. So, and then it says um, it was connected to a battery because when a capacitor, remember, a capacitor stores and separates charge. So when a capacitor is connected to a battery, the battery can charge the capacitor. The battery sends the current into the capacitor and charges it. When the battery is disconnected, um, then the capacitor can discharge itself. It can then release um, uh, current. So uh, they are saying that uh, the system is, is connected to a battery so that C1 can be charged and then the battery is removed and then C1 is attached to the circuit. So the charge on a capacitor Q can be given by Q is equal to CV. And uh, after being fully charged between the two parts were joined, C1 carried a charge of how much? So, um, so we use Q uh, is equal to CV. And um, so we have C, uh, the, the charge on the capacitor is 0.05. Uh, times 10 to the minus 6 farads, okay, so it's microfarads, times uh, 0 0.4 volts. Okay, and uh, now that's 1, 2, that's 5 times 10 to the minus 8 is the other way to do that. 5 times 10 to the minus 8, and that's times 0.4, so um, that's going to be 2 times 10 to the minus 8. Eight, and that's that's coulombs. That's um, in coulombs. So uh, that means sixty is and the choice A. Uh, we go to sixty-one. The percentage of charge that was transferred from C one to C two after the two port parts were joined was closest to. Okay, so this is uh, you know of course this is based on conservation of charge. Charge is not going to leave. Uh, this circuit that they've uh, drawn and there's no new charge coming in. There's not another battery or anything And the other thing too is we don't have to worry about current going Where the voltmeter is because in the in the uh, little passage It said that the resistance of uh, the voltmeter was very high So that means current doesn't like high resistance so it will avoid it So instead of going to the voltmeter the current will go to C2 so the C1 a uh, capacitor will discharge itself and charge C2. So by how much will it charge C2? Well, that's dependent on uh, C2's uh, capacitance to retain, to store a uh, charge. So based on conservation of charge, we know that there's going to be circulation from C1 to C2. We know that um, because of this equation, uh, Q is equal to uh, CV, we know the charge is conserved, conservation of charge. Uh, we know the voltage is, is not changing in this circuit. Uh, there's no new um, battery or, or anything else that is being added to it. So now, um, now we have this capacitance, which was uh, only being used by one capacitor before. Uh, now it's being shared by, um, by two capacitors. So it's being shared by two capacitors. And C2, uh, the capacitance for C2... Um, if we look at uh, the passage, we see that C1 has a capacitance of 0.05 microfarads, but C2 has a capacitance of 0.1 microfarads, which is twice the amount. So C2 has twice the capacitance of C1. So this is not going to be um, uh, shared equally between C1 and C2. In fact, C2 has twice the capacitance of C1, and this is how it will be distributed. And so it used to be 
of the current stored with C1, but now it's 33%, uh, you know, it's uh, one in th a total of three, 33% um, with C1, and it's going to be 66% uh, with C2. If you're not com comfortable with those percentages, just see, notice that it 66% is indeed twice 33%. So uh, we had twice the um, capacitance. So the original amount of current that was at C1 was 100%, and then it's gone down uh, to just at 33%. So the change in C1 is 67%. So we look at the answer choices, and 70% is the closest one. And so uh, 61 is indeed answer C. And uh, besides that, um, uh, if you wanted to read up about capacitors or charge, uh, capacitors is over here at Physics uh, 9.4, but it's also helpful to, uh, to do a little review of uh, charges um, if uh, you think it's necessary or the conservation of charge.